Yes, I brought out my guns, because I'm a manly man, and I am as white as hell. Anyway, I'm a manly man, and I'm going to talk about bridesmaids. It doesn't make any sense. I mean, the only bridesmaids I can actually talk about are the ones that I actually took to the broom closet that one time when... Oh, I'm sorry. That's going to get a little bit too graphic. Let's just end that there. Hello, Freedom Guy 55 here again. And, uh, yes, I'm going to talk about bridesmaids. I never really thought that I'd actually make another video uh, trying to actually talk about what I think should deserve an Oscar within a particular movie. I did it with Drive. I, I put in two Oscars. I do want it to actually, you know, be nominated for even more Oscars. But uh, I just picked two that I really want the movie to be nominated for. Um, well, I never thought I'd actually make another one of these videos. But I just had um, watched Bridesmaids again, on, uh, but, on, but it's now on Blu-ray. And I have to say that this, this movie still unbelievably makes me smile. I mean, after seeing Abduction and seeing the shitty script there and then looking at this movie, I just was smiling. My, I was just smiling so much because I was just like, oh, thank God. You know? Well, anyway, the... Um, Bridesmaids, what could really be Oscar-worthy within Bridesmaids? Well, it would actually has to go around to the dialogue. I mean, when you wind up looking at the dialogue in Bridesmaids, it is absolutely so unbelievably wonderful. I mean, we're talking about really having the dialogue be so unbelievably relatable, really co very comedic and fit practically every single scene that was built that was built for the movie almost to a T and the actual characters that the script even builds are really so so not only relatable to females but they're actually relatable to males as well I mean, just take Kristen Wiig's, uh, Kristen, I'm sorry, Kristen Wiig's character in the movie, where she actually, uh, you know, she, she's a fem female, you know that she's a female for the most of the movie and whatnot, but the, there's a point in the movie where she winds up actually doing something wrong and to, to a guy that she likes, and she actually has to wind up apologizing to him. They wound up actually taking the actual cliché of what we see in regular um, romantic films, and they kind of actually had a tendency to turn it on its head and reverse that kind of cliche. Hey, go for go for going against the grain. Let me tell you. But at the same time, you're kind of like looking at it, and it works so well. You're because the one thing that's interesting about all of these characters is that they become so relatable not only to females but males and the mo and the script and the mo uh, the movie itself but also the script never veers away from the female's uh, femininity and that is actually just awesome that is that is really really smart work for a script really smart work I mean, I'm telling you, when you can actually not veer away from a woman's femininity while also actually appealing to the guy part of the film, where guys can actually relate, that's good. That's, that's intelligent. I mean, seriously. And this was done by, uh, this uh, script was done by uh, Kristen, uh, Kristen Wiig, which, were, which is the female in the, in the movie. As well as also um, Allison, or no, um, Annie, I'm sorry, Annie uh, Memo, Memo, uh, Memo, I can't pronounce her last name. I am sorry. I apologize. But those two women really deserve, I think, an Oscar nomination for this script. Because this script is unbelievably good. I mean, the dialogue. I did not once think that the dialogue was ever out of place. I wasn't even thinking the same thing that I was thinking with, you know, uh, abduction, where I was like going, who the hell talks like this? Who writes this stuff? I didn't 
I didn't say that once in the movie. I was actually smiling every single time that someone was talking and the dynamic between each other and the dialogue that was passing between each between each person was just absolutely amazing. I was still riveted in the movie by this script. It is an actually, oh, it is so intelligent. I mean, seriously. I really, if I was part of the Academy, I would give an Oscar nomination to Kristen Wiig and um, Annie, um, what's her last name? I apologize. That's just stupid of me. Um, because they deserve it. This is really an intelligent script. Because the movie is not, this is not, the script is not made as a movie that is just for uh, a chick flick um, comedy. It's not a chick flick comedy. This is a script that it should be made for just regular comedies. These, this should be, people should be around looking at this script and seeing how unbelievably well done it is and pretty much use it and pretty much try to actually see what they could, you know, understand from it so that they can make better scripts in the future, no matter if it's of females in a movie or of males. So, I mean, period. Oscar nomination for these two women. Excellent, excellent script. I love that script. So, yes, Oscar nomination for best original screenplay. I'm repeating myself. I know, but it should deserve it. And I don't want to repeat myself again, so I'm going to say, I thank you for your time and have a nice day.